Nigerian Automobile Technicians Association of Nigeria, in collaboration with the Federation of Informal Workers Organization of Nigeria, has demanded that the illegal demolition of mechanic villages and workshops across the state be discontinued. And they are calling on the Lagos State Government to ensure total return of all their workshops taken over by the government. Plus TV Africa's correspondent, Destiny Momo, has more. This group has come to agitate, make demands and make their voices heard to the Lagos State Government over what it termed illegal demolition of mechanic villages in Surulere and Odo, Ladipo, Oshodi, Mushi and countless others scattered around the state. This has forced them to be pushed to Ekpe and Badagri axis. They say Latif Jakonde made it possible for informal workers to be rightly positioned in mechanic villages in 1981. The chairman of Nigerian Automobile Technician Association of Nigeria, Lagos Chapter, and other council members accused a special advisor to Governor Babajide Sonwolu on transport for the demolition of the various mechanic villages and other accusations. The workshop that Alagi Gakonde have given us since 1981, they did not improve, the, the predecessor governor, they did not improve on it. We've been paying our taxes. Who pay permits to the government, all sorts of, all sorts of revenue, all right, brought to us. We've been hearing to be, we've been answering to that. So what we want to know, what are our our offences that they now feel we are not suitable to be on that land? Whenever they give us a permanent allocation, they should leave it for us. Not that they give us permanent allocation today and tomorrow, and another guy will come. They say that okay, they are in need of that place, but when that place was in a water lodge. They will not remember that place until when mechanic free that place. The protest which started from Allen Junction culminated at the State House of Assembly, Alausa. They are received by some members of the House of Assembly, including member representing Ojo Constituency 1, Ulushegun Akonde. I received the letter officially on behalf of negotiation and we shall ensure that the House sit on it and take necessary action. The artisans who came out in their thousands say they are ready to continue this protest until their voices are heard. Determined not to take no for an answer, the members of NATA stood their ground amidst heavy downpour, agitating for the removal of Toin Fainka. The Covenant of Sustainable Developmental Goal, New Urban Agenda of the United Nations and International Labour Standards on Occupational Safety Recommendations urges the government to respect the rights of informal workers. Destiny Momo for PLUS TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.